The prostate gland is an organ the size of a walnut, located between the bladder and the penis in men. The urethra, or urinary canal, passes through the centre of the prostate. Two seminal ducts also open into the urethra. The main function of the prostate is to ensure the expulsion of urine from the bladder and semen from the penis during sexual intercourse. In benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH, also known as benign prostate enlargement, the parts of the prostate near the bladder enlarge, compressing the urethra and causing urinary problems. The most commonly performed treatment for prostate enlargement is a surgical procedure called TERP, transurethral resection of the prostate. In this procedure, an endoscope is inserted through the penis and the part of the prostate compressing the urethra is removed. While this method can alleviate urinary problems in the early stages, it unfortunately has significant side effects. The most common of these side effects is retrograde ejaculation. In retrograde ejaculation, because the seminal ducts and urethra are damaged during surgery, semen cannot be expelled from the penis during ejaculation and instead flows into the bladder. Other side effects of surgery include temporary or permanent urinary incontinence, impotence, and future narrowing of the urethra due to trauma. Due to these side effects, methods that shrink the prostate tissue by heating or freezing rather than cutting it traumatically with surgery have come to the forefront in treating prostate enlargement. Among these, the method most preferred in our centres is cryoablation therapy, which involves freezing. In cryoablation, needles are inserted on either side of the urethra through the skin under local anaesthesia, and the enlarged prostate tissue compressing the urethra is frozen at minus 140 to minus 190 degrees, killing the tissue. The body gradually reduces the frozen tissue, similar to healing a wound. As the tissue shrinks, the pressure on the urethra is relieved and the individual can urinate normally again. During the freezing process, since the urethra, sperm ducts and sphincters are not damaged, retrograde ejaculation and urinary incontinence do not occur. Because the nerves responsible for erection are not affected, impotence does not develop. Minimal trauma to the urethra prevents future urethral stricture. Lastly, if there is undetected cancerous tissue in the frozen area, it is also treated with cryoablation.